With this filter you'll be able to watch the sun and take a beautiful and detailed picture of it. Everybody loves the sun and we wouldn't be here if it weren't for the existence of the sun. I even moved with my family many years ago mainly because here where I live now we have plenty of sun all the year and I always wanted to watch it through a telescope. However, it's very dangerous to do that. It could blind us. Therefore, I will need a special filter for the sun. And do you want to watch the sun in a safe, inexpensive and easy way to do it? In this video, you are going to learn how to do a filter to your Dobsonian telescope to watch the sun taking the benefit of all your Dobsonian power. The first solar filter I got was for a 70mm refractor, an inexpensive one I have. It allowed me to watch a solar eclipse. Very nice. I leave the links to all the materials used in this video at the description. However, with such a smaller aperture, I couldn't get so much detail and I decided to make a special filter for my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope. So first I bought a 10-inch sheet of filter, which is called white filter. This filter is safe, inexpensive, but has nothing to do with the H-alpha filters that are used to watch the sun flares. Those are very expensive and they do not fit very well in a Dobsonian telescope. However, maybe in the future, I get a special solar telescope from AstroArt Finland, which is our sponsor and also our astronomical partner. They have loads of experience in this matter. But for now we will do it in the keep it simple and inexpensive way, reachable to all the Dobsonian owners. After buying the filter, I also ordered a cake mold. Yes, write that. Something to make cakes. I saw it is light, resistant, fancy, also inexpensive and fits very well in the top of my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope. Remember that I leave all the links at the description. The cake mold has a locking system and when I received it I noticed that it has a perfect fit but only if I use it all open. So I just twisted the lock with pliers to have enough space to make two holes. In different models you may not need to bend it. But at least one hole is needed to avoid the mold to open or close at all. So I used a rivet gun and I inserted the rivets in the holes having then a flawless result. However there was a problem. The rivets could scratch the telescope. Not a huge problem, but we want everything well. And to solve that, I used duct tape over the rivets. By the way, I used the smaller size of the rivets. Then, as I was with the duct tape in the end, I decided to place it all over the inner circle. That was too much and I had to take it off. But in case you have your mold a bit loosened, you can use this technique to shim it. Now I got a perfect fit for the aperture of the 8 inch. Really nice. But of course now we have to attach the filter to the mold. It came protected with cardboard on both sides. And you just have to take off the filter from the cardboard and place it with the silver side down. The silver side will be the external side. Avoid to touch the filter with your fingers, but if you do that, at the end you can clean it like we clean the eyepieces, with the alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol with 99% of purity. After centering the mold over the filter, use a bit of duct tape over the four corners of the filter to attach it to the mold. This will keep the filter quiet and well positioned. Then you just need to place the duct tape all over the external part of the mold. I used two layers of tape in order to get it stiffer and with a better look. Then I placed the sticker just to be fancier. Let's call it the cherry over the cake. <laughs> right out of the gate, if you place this solar filter right in front of your smartphone camera, you can perfectly watch the sun harmless to your eyes or camera but you want to use it with your telescope to benefit from all its power. Let's see how it fits on the 8 inch now. Look how well it fits. 
even the outer knobs from the spiders behave as a support for the filter. It's really the right measure. Fancy, stiff, easy to store, I just use a shoe box for it and it will never fall from your telescope. Now finally I can safely watch the sun through an eyepiece or through a camera and you may want to click on the video on the screen to watch more about this topic.